Hello guys, I am Arvind and this is continuation video of NumPy and it is part 13. So guys, we are discussing NumPy operations and in this lecture, we are going to discuss logarithmic function. So let's go ahead guys and we'll discuss this function. So the logarithmic function or log function is used to calculate the natural logarithm of x where x belongs to all the input array elements and it is the inverse of the exponential function as well as an element wise natural logarithm moving forward guys so the natural logarithm is the reverse of the exponential function so that log of exponential of x will give you the x so the logarithm in base e is called natural logarithm so guys now moving on to the next topic and that is syntax of this function so let's take a look at the syntax so in log function we will provide a numpy array of elements numpy log function will compute the logarithm for these elements and the log function only has a few parameters the three parameters of log function are x out and where but out and where parameters are less commonly used so we are not going to cover them in this lecture so let's take a look at the x parameter and how it works so the x parameter enables you to provide an input to the function and it is a required parameter for this log function so let me open up the jupyter notebook and i will show you the working of this log function so guys now in this lecture we are going to learn how to use log function to calculate logarithmic of elements so that's why i have imported numpy as np and now first of all i am going to calculate the log of scalar value so let's do this So guys, first of all, I'm going to find out the log of 5 and now I'm going to print this A. And now if I run this script, it will give you the log of 5. Now guys, I'm going to find out the log of one dimensional array. So let's create one dimensional array. So guys, I have created one dimensional array B and now I'm going to print it. So it is output of one dimensional array. And now I'm going to apply this log function on this one dimensional array B. So let's do this. So guys, I have passed this array B to this log function and that will store to L1. And now if I run this script, it will give you the log of these elements. So I hope it is clear to you. And now guys, I'm going to apply this log function on two dimensional array. So let's create two dimensional array. So guys, I have created a two dimensional array C of three cross three and now I'm going to print it by using this print function. So it is the output of two dimensional array C and now I'm going to apply this log function on this two dimensional array C. So let's do this. So now if I run this script, it will give you the logarithmic values of these elements from the two dimensional array C. So guys, I hope it is clear to you and thank you so much guys for watching this video. Just in case you liked it, do not forget to like and subscribe. I will see you then in the next video.